Shiva Swarudaya is an ancient Sanskrit tantric text. A comment and translation termed as Swara Yoga has been made by Satyananda Saraswati in 1983. It is also termed phonetical astrology, the sound of one's own breath, and is written as a conversation between Shiva and Parvati. Topic introduction The script starts with the conversation between Parvati and Shiva, where Shiva starts introducing the scripts and explaining about the need for maintaining secrecy and also stating astrological value of the text. Its fundamental application is to realize the breath as being the medium of cosmic life force, through practicing swara yoga special mode of analysis and practicing of breath. According to Mukti Bhadananda, the book enables us to understand nature of breath and its influence on the body as different modes of breathing leads to different types of actions, physical, mental and spiritual. Topic introduction to swaras and their effects According to Mukti Bhadananda finds, the second part introduces types of swaras arising out of nadis, here three kind of swaras are said to be present, and each results of swaras are also noted here. Swarudaya Yoga has three types of breathing systems, Ida inhaling and exhaling from our left side of the nostrils, Pingla inhaling and exhaling from our right side of the nostrils, and Sushmana inhaling and exhaling from both sides of the nostrils. We mostly breathe in and out from either Ida or Pingla but sometimes we breathe from both the nostrils Nadis. Vata air, pitta, bile, and Kapha sputum are three major elements of diseases doshas can be cured by balancing them through Swara Yoga. Topic recommended deeds During particular flow of Swaras Satyananda Saraswati implies each of the Swaras mentioned in the book are suitable for very specific matching activities. There are three modes of breathing, viz. flow from left nostril, flow from right nostril and flow from both the nostrils. The last mode is generally for a short duration when breathing switches from left to right and vice versa. Mode of breathing can be checked by examining air flow while exhaling. All our actions can be classified into three main categories, physical, mental and spiritual, which are respectively presided by the above three modes of breathing. Following are some of the specific activities which should be initiated when left or right nostrils are active. Some activities are listed under both the modes, which the aspirant may select based on the functional, piousness of the activity. In general for pious activities are initiated during currency of left nostril. One must change mode of breathing suitably at the time of initiating specific desired activity. When breath is flowing from both the nostrils, the time is beneficial for worshipping and devotional activities only, all other activities must not be then initiated. Most of the practicing astrologers have observed that compliance to the dictums of SWAR Shastras is more efficacious than omens, and even a suitable time selected through astrology. Activities recommended during running of left nostril, it is beneficial, auspicious in initiating long-distance travels, charity, donation, wearing of clothes and ornaments, treaty and agreement, installation of murti, practicing yoga, oblation of fire for peace, worshipping, recitation of holy books, initiation of mantras, leaning of futurity knowledge, marriage, administering of medicine, treating of difficult illness, removing poison, starting of education singing dancing playing musical instruments, discussion on dance, drama, stationary and fixed works, mental and creative works, entering into house, city, village, coronation, seeing king, high official, master, employer, sweet and friendly activities, making friends, women to participate in sexual relations, auspicious deeds, teachings, collection of domestic items, wealth and grains, purchase of jewelry, starting of water tank pond well, peaceful and developmental works, trade, give and take by the hand presenting the mode of breathing, agriculture works, sowing seeds, buying agricultural land, drinking water. Activities recommended during running of right nostril, currency of breathing through right nostril is auspicious, beneficial for performing accurate and difficult, hard works, writing alphabets, learning and practicing use of arms and weapons, destruction of enemy war, attack, encounter, enmity, inflicting punishment, breaking, splitting, gambling, bathing, taking food, sleeping, sex by mail, visiting women and prostitutes, enchanting females, attracting others, creating fear, cruel works, short distance travel, entry into house house, boarding ship, big boat, drinking intoxicants, administration of poison, removal of poison, usage of mantras, study of holy books, study and teaching of difficult and destructive branches of knowledge climbing mountains and forts, risky and heroic feats, riding on horse, elephant and transports, physical exercise, sale of animals, agriculture, crossing pond river, taking medicine, giving donations, sale purchase, grinding of brick stones wood metals, conduction of six works, beating, charming, hindering, enmity, vexing and subduing. 
Topic signs of forthcoming death At the end of the book, the scripture deals with signs of forthcoming death stating of behavior of swaras in body and of dreams. References, <references>